Welcome back to another video because I don't know which order I'm sticking these videos up but welcome back to another video uh, we are proudly sponsored by Graham Styling Automotive Body Panels and the RS Canic which is mobile remapping thanks very much for that, another thumbs up um, in this video we are fitting a spoiler alert <laughs> you're so slow <laughs> it's the dramatic pause <laughs> do it yeah, we're fitting a spoiler. Uh, more precise, we're fitting a big whack off drift wing for the Supra. Just proudly so proudly like given, we're proudly got from Graham Styling. You know, again, massive thumbs up. Um, so we're going to show you how to fit it, the quality of it. Um, I will stress now, it's not painted. Um, we fitted it on the hopes that we were going to go straight down to Jack Fest 2. Uh, which nearly happened. We got it all fitted. We fired the car up in the morning of going down to Shepherd's 2 and it decided it was going to leak fuel on injector 1 and injector 2. So, the Supra never actually made it to Shepherd's and we had to go in the Astra. We're currently on the way back from Shepherd's yeah. right now. Um, so, in this video, we're fitting the spoiler. We're going to show you how. So, we're back here with another delivery from Graham Styling. As you can see, we have Grams on it. Um, I must say, another fantastic rep product, nice and solid, there's nothing loose, there's nothing moving inside and it's come by courier and it's in fantastic condition. So it's time to unwrap this beast and let's take a look what we have inside. So we've got some more stickers from Grounds, which is wicked. We've got some last time when we bought the bunkers from them. And we are down to the cardboard, so very carefully, this one doesn't take it. So there's some of the packaging, which can go on the seat for the time being. Find another way into here, I don't know. Like past the parcel, but there's everything playing. More parts. There we have it. One <laughs> really big spoiler. Solid. It's foam filled, I believe, but it is surprisingly very strong. And it's a credit to them and the wrapping skills because that could have been a lot worse. <laughs> but yeah, so what we've got here we have the legs, which go onto the spoiler, the other way around. These are the end caps, which obviously go on the end of the spoiler. And then these should be the feet that go obviously onto the spoiler and also onto the boot of the Supra. So I'm going to unwrap these and we'll come back to you. 
So here we have the completed kit that come from Grand Styling. We have obviously the big spoiler blade and the bracket on the bottom. We have the mount which bolt into the original super holes. If you can look, it's the same shape as the original super spoiler. So they bolt on there. We have the legs and we've gone for the 25 centimeter option. So that gives us 25 centimeters worth of lift. Obviously they bolt so the other way around. Great way into there. No, I was right first way around. They bolt into there like that. And obviously this end bolts into these boots. And then on the ends we have the end caps, which obviously go on the end of the spoiler. So and it comes with all the bolts, everything's in place that's needed already. And so we've already got bolts in there too. It's fixed this end, so there's only one hole, but this one is a big slider, so you can actually adjust the amount of downforce that you're actually going to get from the spoiler. Uh, quite a few of you that follow us think, you know, there's no point, but when you think about the car that it's going to go on, when we have a real world drive through to Supra, eventually running a big giant turbo, um, downforce is good. Downforce would be good with that car. So, adjustable downforce by just simply just adjusting the sake of two bolts or bolt each side, that is very handy. So, that is a great piece of kit. So, to fit our new spoiler, we need to pull off this interior trim panel, which, like I said, just pulls off. There's lots of clips and it is very stiff, so be very careful. Then you have the terminal bolt and the terminal bolt, and obviously, same on the other side to undo, and the spoiler lifts off. So once you've got a chubber and you've finished wiping it down, as so you could tee cut these marks as well, you're going to get your base plates that come with your spoiler, remove the nuts and bolts as they are, obviously you're going to attach this onto the car, just like it was previously attached, so that's what we're going to do now. So once this bolt's done, it's nice and tight just like so, you might need to tee cut the edges of the original spoiler because it's just not as long. You need to remove these nuts and bolts, then we can slot the legs in and do them up, which the same on that side as well, until we've got the legs. So as you can see, sorry Trevor, right. nuts and bolts go through, they need tightening up, then that makes the legs secure. Now Graham Styling do offer you different height legs, like I've said before, these are 25 centimetres, you can get 30, 35s, might even get 20s, I can't remember. Then once that's secure, use Allen keys on here, nuts on the back, then it's time to put the blade on the top. So here we have the blade, Ooh, let's just put it on the floor, we'll have to remove the nuts and bolts. I'll see out of the brackets there so we can actually plot it over the top. This is ridiculously light. You know what I think? The size of it? Yeah. That's very light. It's very light. certainly very strong, definitely very sturdy. Um, yeah. I can't, I can't wait to get on. Let's get on. I said there's nuts and bolts out. Yeah. So you can see we've put them on. This back nut or bolt as it is has the adjustment so you can change the pitch of the wing. If trouble can just do the honours. Obviously that's all the way down. And we'll go the opposite way. And that's all the way up. Can you change the picture of the way, which I think is very cool. And very drift spec. Yeah. Uh, we just need to bolt these up and put the end caps on. So we just need to undo both nuts, grab the end cap, and then we can put them on. You just need to make sure that you screw on the end caps that come with the two screws provided. Uh, these ones are Allen keys as well, so just use the Allen key to put them on. Put them on the other side, and then it's good to go. Because we personally think it's like it's 
really true style, especially with the big diffuser belt in the back bumper. I think it looks spot on. It's a pretty shit belt. It, it really is. It would help if the whole car was one colour. But <laughs> for the time being, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's really good. I mean, we're going to get it off now. We're going to get it again, either painted or wrapped. Um, yeah, the spoiler looks mint. Um, I'll take some more outside photos and stick them on Facebook now once this video's up. Yeah, we're really happy with that. So, please stay tuned for more videos because we still have lots of, and I'll be lots of big things to have them. And plenty of time to get dirty. And plenty of time to get dirty. So, like, subscribe, stay tuned for more. We'll be back. Stay tuned for more super goodness. Here's a little clue of what we got next.